Well, hey everyone, it's Scott with New Portrait Biz. And what I want to do today is show you how to create some smoke, some fog, whatever you want to call it, but something like this here that actually looks like uh, this water in here is actually giving off some steam or some smoke. So you can use this for anything really, but this is going to pertain to this particular image in this case. All right, so I've already created another layer. I just as a test, I wanted to do another version, and there's my other version. So you got that one or you have that one. And all you if you notice this one here is a little bit mm, I would say more in this tone and I did that on purpose and this one here is a little bit more white. But all I did was just went into the color overlay and then I can go ahead and start sampling whatever color I want and then I can, you know, create that to be darker, whatever. You can see like right there. Okay. Um bring this over and hit OK and OK. Alright, so let's go ahead and create it though. Let me just delete this. This is the original one that I created, which is with this particular digital creation. Uh, all you do is just create a new layer. And this is my way of doing it. Again, do it any way you want. I'm going to label it Smoke. Hit OK. And uh, actually, you know what? let's make this Smoke 2 so we don't get confused. Let's see, Smoke two. Perfect. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to be on that layer, of course. We're going to go up here, and you can you can basically use any type of lasso tool or even the pen tool if you wanted to. I'm going to use the uh, polygonal. That's a tough one to say, guys. The uh, polygonal um, lasso tool. All right, so all I'm going to do is start right here. I'm going to click. I'm going to bring it up. You can bring it up as high as you want. Down, here, here, maybe up to here. And just keep, you know, be random. It's not going to matter. You're going to see in a second why it's not going to matter. And you can do less or more, whichever you want to do. Let's bring it down into here. And we'll bring it right up to there. All right, so there it is. Looks great, right? Wrong. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go to the paint bucket. Click on that. Make sure that your foreground color is selected to white. Uh, and then just go ahead and click inside of your selection. Boom, we're done. Okay, with that portion. Now we want to deselect. I'm going to go to the um, the Apple or the Command D, or you can just go to Select and then uh, deselect. Okay. So now what we want to do is make this so it looks like smoke. So we're just going to go into Filter, and we're going to go to Gaussian Blur, and I've got it set to 92. That's good. I mean, if you go too much, you're going to it's going to blow it way out. So you want to just use your own discretion. I'm going to go up into the 90s and go 92.9. That looks good. Go ahead and click OK. All right. So now what I can do is drop the opacity if I want, if I don't want it as intense. All right. And in this case, I have it um, uh, on top of this layer because I want it to look like it's in front here too, uh, coming over. Uh, if I put it behind that layer, you see it's doesn't look like it's real. It doesn't look like it's behind there. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm above that. And I could always erase this if it was coming over too much or I can move it around now. Um, now to change the color again, I'll go over that real quick. Just go to layer and then layer style and then color overlay. And you're going to see it's going to default to red. Ooh, that's scary. Uh, and we're going to go and we're going to select the color over here so it blends in with the particular smoke and fog in this picture. And that's how that one would look. And I can bring the opacity back if I want. Now, let's just say that you wanted to make this even a more different shape. You wanted to make it, you know, so it was kind of squirrely looking. Uh, what you could do is go into the transform tools. Go to transform. Go to warp. And then you, you're able to basically manipulate even the inner part of that object. So you can go here. See? Like this, and you can pull the, you know, pull it around wherever you, wherever you want it. If you think that it needs to, to, uh, you know, really, if maybe go up here, and you can really begin to, to bring up just this end maybe, and then bring this part back down. Uh, and then I can go ahead, and hit apply, and then I've got my fog or my smoke. See. So that's pretty much how you do it. Again, this is the original one, okay? And this is the other one. Now this one doesn't have as much detail as the other one. I might have blurred it too much. So you know what? Because it's so easy, let's do it again. Just one more time. If you don't want to watch this again, you can pause the video. It'll be 
you know, the same idea. I just want to do it one more time for you just to show you we can create it uh, just by adding a few more points or a few less points. So let's go to layer, new, and we'll title this smoke three. And then I'm just going to go up to my polygonal lasso tool. Go here, 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 here. Let's see what this one does. Uh, one more. We'll go there. Go to the paint bucket. Make sure we have the white selected. Boom. We're going to deselect it. I'll do it this way this time. Select and then deselect. And then we're going to go blur. And we're going to find the Gaussian blur Look for this under the filters. And maybe we won't make it as much. We'll go like that maybe. And I'll show you why in a minute. Let me go to 76. Okay, and I'm going to change the color again. So I'm going to go layer, style, color overlay. We're going to go over here to this one. Hit OK and click OK. And then what we're going to do is go back in and we're going to go edit, transform, and then we're going to go to warp. And uh, this time, let me bring up all of, let's see. Yeah, we'll do it that way. And bring that down a little bit. Maybe bring this side in a little bit. And you see what I'm saying? You can just you can keep playing around with it until you get the actual look you want. Let's click apply, and there you go. We've got another smoke look. Okay, so again, I just wanted to show you this perfect timing. Uh, this video is coming out in October. So you can use it for Halloween, but you can also use this for other things. You can use it for for cool effects if you're doing, you know, maybe. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, you could, you know, you can use it for, uh, you know, a sports scene where you put a whole bunch of smoke and fog behind a, a player, you know, like a football player, baseball player, whatever. Have fun with it. Anyway, that's how I'm creating smoke fog type effects right now. Super simple. Uh, give it a try. The other thing you can do is save out a bunch of different ones like uh, like this and then once you do that you can just open up all of your different layers that you created different smoke and you can just drag them into whatever pictures you're working on that way you don't have to recreate the smoke every time. Just an idea for you. Alright, again this is Scott with New Portrait Biz and I will uh, I'll see you later. I'll see you in the next lesson.